wasting any time. They just poured these footers. The garage. Porch footers over there. That's my shovel here. Um, I was gone for a week. They put the deck on, started putting the walls up, poured the floor in the basement. Uh, I got a bunch of stone around the foundation for these superior walls, I call them. I forget the name of them. We're calling them superior. Uh, stone backfill around them. I'll put some fabric around it. That's what I'm doing next. I'll put it here for now, but yeah, throw it in your bucket at some point. Get up there in the flat for me. This fabric's wet, so it's heavy. Floors are poured. Same with the uh, house. You can see the framing going on. Pouring uh, the back porch piers. Again, like I said, they did the front, front porch, front garage piers. Blocks going in tomorrow. And uh, Yeah, we're uh, we're moving here. We're moving. Hey, get all this cut into grade. Now that we get these foundation walls all backfilled and cleaned up, start subgrading all this. Still got the footer drains to take out, sewer line. Oh, uh, there's a whole slew of thing. Electrical trench going out the driveway. Pole barn pad in front of me. It's little by little. when you have an operator sits in the air condition all day the big difference when you're out here in the sun sweating and breathing heavy you sit there pull levers all day and you just forget what's going on when that happens you take that operator out of the machine and you make him labor for a week straight believe me he'll forget all his bad habits because he'll be so upset he had a shovel all week he'll never have a problem again i worked for a company when the operator started acting up they made him shovel for a whole week that was it john let me tell you when i'm ready thanks hey let me tell you when i'm ready You got to get this up top in the sun. Well, why don't we do it now? Oh, well, you will. You'll carry it up there and throw it up there in the flat. Here, you got your sharp knife. Yes. Cut me a strip off of there. Go ahead, Bubba. It's 
got like halfway and come across. Well, you should have seen that. I took that turtle home last night. Yeah, time. what did he do? He, he was glad to get out, wasn't he? Yeah, he, he kept he kept the time trying to get out of the truck. And then the, my granddaughters, they murdered a love letter. Oh. <laughs> I'm not joking. <laughs> and they were crying because I, I released it. Oh. They said, we're, we love that turtle. You tell them that turtle needs to raise it. Jonah wanted to raise to it. To go lay eggs. Yeah. I couldn't believe it. They thought that was the greatest thing. All right. Let's try this again. Go ahead. Come to me. I will, but you got it all messed up. I was going to go two halves. I know you were. You had it all messed up. All right. Unbelievable. Hey, don't get ahead of me. No, I was helping. The labor's always right. <laughs> that happens. It happens. He dumped dirt. I wasn't ready for it. have situations that was minor just a little step that you had to take but sometimes the operator thinks he knows what's best but when I'm laboring in the ditch you're now working for me because I'm the guy that's got to shovel it and I'm not afraid to tell him and if they don't like it, that's fine. I'll sit in that seat and they can do the shop. Alright, I want my fabric up there. foundation superior walls you don't have a concrete footer your wall is sitting on a stone pad so the manufacturer specs are to backfill that with stone instead of filling all that with dirt all the way up through fill it with stone and it takes the weight from pushing on the walls stones light and it's not going to hold water it's too be clean so that's why we have all that stone around these foundations.
was just wrapping around the Pull corner it. a little bit. Piece here. All right, we're moving some of that fill or topsoil. Um, block guys are here. Ricky here holding up lumber. This is going to open up on yours, so just move it to center on the stud. It's cool. You're going to be about an inch off. Right? Back porch. I'll have these blocking today. Uh, get all this fill, put it up there where that topsoil pile is. There's just no room here. They started this garage foundation this morning. They're all but done. Connection to the porch over there. Grade's a little high in here. More backfilling to do now. Get our stone in here and ready for concrete. Electrical trench comes up through here, all the way out. Moving along. This is where the pole barn is going to go. Where the topsoil pile is. We're trying to take half of that, move it over in the field, and then this gets filled in with fill. just really tight gotta stay within the uh, limited disturbance and we're trying not to do things twice but try to be as efficient as possible
We'll fill all this in with fill. This is where the top sill was sitting. Got their block in the day. Gonna fill this in Monday. Some stone against the foundation wall. Just all stoned in, graded up for concrete. Same thing with the porch on the other side. I got the electrical trench coming out here. Mount that on the wall, I think halfway down he wants it. So I'm gonna leave this open. Um, got some cutting in the back here. All this fill here is all extra, way along. Cutting off the uh, floor there, the concrete floor height. Bringing that out to daylight. Uh, it's coming together. Got his floor in. Rained on him once or twice already. Making a chimney up through. I don't know if he's going to have a fireplace first or second floor or something, but uh, that's going to go all the way up through. Then the terracotta pipe. Sewer line stubbed up. Same thing in the corner. You've probably seen the video we dug that out. So yeah, little by little, it's definitely uh, progressing. I wasn't here for a week. A the floor and put the deck on while we were out. Uh, ready to bring this to grade. Fill this in. This is the back porch. <clears throat> of steps coming off the uh, service door there. Probably, uh, I think three. I'm trying to get away with two. Probably gonna be three. Basin, uh, the back half's done. Seen that. in packed it got haunches the concrete to sit on there against the wall same thing over here on the garage got some haunches there put some cinder block stack that up anyway there it is we'll be back Monday and keep on going